But while you were doing that, you led the very interesting life of a socialite in the 70s in New York. You're meeting with Andy Warhol and other people. What was that life like? Everybody famous who was young was a friend of yours, I well, sounds like. Well, New York City in the 70s was many things. For one thing, it was very dirty, it was very dangerous, and it was very cheap. And therefore, uh, a lot of artists were here. It was a very exciting time. It was a time that people wanted freedom. We, th we thought, our generation thought, we invented freedom, which of course we didn't. Uh, and it was, it was fun. And there were a lot of creative people, and Andy Warhol was everywhere. And uh, there was a lot of other people, and, and it was fun. But I mean, it's always fun when you're young. So Andy Warhol said, hey, I'll paint a picture of you. Is that happening a lot? Uh, Andy Warhol did my first portrait one night, very late, in the, and he, but he was looking for a white wall, because he would take a Polaroid, and then he would use the Polaroid and, 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 and paint from there. And, the, but, and he, was, he needed a white wall. And in my, office, in my home, they had no white wall, so we went to the kitchen. And because the white wall in my kitchen was so tiny, I lifted my arm, and that was the first time he painted me. And then he painted me later for a show that he was planning to do in the 80s called Beauties. And did he, did he give you the paintings, or he? He gave me, okay, the first one, I, he gave me one, I bought two. The second time he gave me one, I bought none. And, and when he died, I bought them all.